Okay, so welcome to this next video in the playlist on anime. In this video, what we are going to talk about is we are going to talk about iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia. What do you comprehend from this term? Obviously, it implies anemia caused by deficiency in iron. Caused by deficiency in iron. Iron deficiency anemia is categorized as microcytic anemia. Microcytic anemia. You know that iron is an essential component in making up hemoglobin. Iron, in the previous video I said, iron plus protoporphyrin makes up heme. And the heme plus globin makes up hemoglobin. These are two red blood cells. Consider these red blood cells. In the left, a red blood cell with sufficient hemoglobin. The hemoglobin here is abbreviated by Hb. And in the right, another red blood cell with fewer hemoglobin. In a physiological response, body acts in a way to maintain the hemoglobin concentration in red blood cells close to normal by cutting the red blood cells into a smaller cells. So we have here another red blood cells with fewer, with a smaller size as microcytosis. Microcytosis. It's why we have an iron deficiency anemia and any other condition with problem in making hemoglobin microcytosis or microcytic anemia. The question then comes is how we have iron deficiency anemia or, what's or why does iron deficiency occur? In fact, we are going to talk about the causes of iron deficiency anemia. The first cause is relating to dietary causes. The subgroups here are poverty, when somebody cannot take in enough iron. And other subgroups here are relating to extreme of age. Infants who are less than one year old, especially less than six months old, who are depending on breastfeeding, and you know, breast milk is not a rich source of iron, but in elderly persons, old age, who usually take toast and tea, are at increased risk of involving a shortage of iron intake. So the first group is relating to dietary causes. The second group is relating to decreased absorption. Decreased absorption. So we are going to talk about an individual who takes enough iron but for some reasons, iron cannot be absorbed by the gut. So firstly, let's talk about how iron normally absorbed by the gut. Consider that you take iron, it should make its way through the gut to reach the point it should be absorbed. The iron side of absorption is duodenum. Duodenum, the first part of a small intestine, duodenum. 
duodenum. But before reaching to this point in the stomach, iron encounters this acid that converting the iron to a form that easily absorbed. So I draw here the stomach. My drawing is not well. Stomach. And duodenum and stomach. So if a stomach acid is not sufficient, we cannot absorb the iron. So the iron absorption is related both to stomach and duodenum. Any condition with, increase, with decreased stomach acid production, the subgroup here is stomach. In condition with decreased stomach acid production could be the cause either structurally such as gastrectomy or functionally such as taking acid suppressors for example proton pump inhibitor medications proton pump inhibitors in the matter of duodenum, duodenum, celiac disease is proposed. Celiac disease. You know celiac disease refers to sensitive response to gluten in foods. When the patients encounter foods containing gluten, they do the duodenum cells become inflamed and distracted that ends up with incapability of absorbing iron. So the second group is decreased absorption. Now let's talk about another patient who is taking enough iron and that iron makes its way into the body and absorbed completely, but it's not sufficient. In other words, the body's demand for iron is high. So the third group, the third group is increased body demand. So you see this condition during a status in which rapid rate of growth occurs. Rapid rate of growth such as childhood period adolescence and pregnancy in which blood volume along with rapid rate of growth should be increased and so this needs more iron so what's there left anything that could cause iron deficiency anemia? Obviously yes. So you can see there an individual takes in enough iron of diet and all of that iron absorbed well and this individual is not in a condition with increased demand for iron. But here there is increased loss of iron from the body that means we have a form of blood loss or hemolysis. So the first group is blood loss or hemolysis. Blood loss or hemolysis. Blood loss leads to erythrocyte loss. Erythrocyte loss. Erythrocyte loss that it ends up with hemoglobin loss hemoglobin loss and finally leads to iron deficiency iron deficiency this occurred in a couple of different different cases in young women
or women of childbearing ages with heavy menstruations heavy menstruations or when any ulcer in the GI tract such as peptic ulcer disease of a stomach or duodenal duodenal or even Meckel's diverticulum Meckel's diverticulum that sometimes have peptic ulcer tissue but the most important subgroup here is relating to colon colon polyp or colon cancer in elderly persons who are usually more than 40 to 50 years old it's very important that we should not neglect anemia in these age groups patients in this age that have blood loss in a stool blood is found in the stool work up for colon evaluation such as colonoscopy is necessary and the last and the other subgroup here is related to worm hook worm in developing countries that binds to intestine wall and suck out blood developing countries So here you look at the diagram of iron deficiency anemia. Here for recapping the causes of iron deficiency anemia, some questions are discussed. Question 1. Iron absorption of which one is more than the others? 1. Egg, 2. Nuts, 3. Meat, 4. Vegetables. There are two types of iron, heme and non-heme. Heme is got from meat products and non-heme is from the vegetables. The heme iron from meat products is better absorbed than the non-heme. So the correct answer is option free. What we can conclude here is that vegan people who strictly use the vegetables are at increased risk of getting iron deficiency anemia. You know that these patients known for vitamin B12 deficiency, but iron deficiency is also probable in these patients. Question 2. Where is the main site of iron absorption in the gastrointestinal tract? 1. Jejunum, 2. Ileum, 3. Colon, 4. Duodenum. As said before, the main site of iron absorption is duodenum, but should be said that jejunum is also to a little bit play the role. So the correct option is 4. Question 3. Which one is not associated with iron deficiency anemia? 1. Gastrectomy 2. Ileectomy 3. Colon polyp 4. Meckel's diverticulum As said before, in the stomach, iron converts to a form that then easily absorbed in the duodenum. So, gastrectomy by reducing the stomach acidity can lower the iron absorption. Colon polyp and Meckel's diverticulum are also give rise to iron deficiency through blood loss. So the correct option is 2. Ileum is the main site of vitamin B12 absorption and ileectomy can affect this vitamin.